Hey, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Jeremy. Today we're going to be painting some Infinity that was provided in this month's Asset Dropbox. Super excited about this project, so let's check it out. Alright, so in this project we have the Alphasad from uh, Hakuslam from Infinity the game. And the tutorial this month is basically a chipping effect. So we primed it in black. And we're going to start with uh, Chocolate Brown from Instar. And do the base coat. Next we're going to take the uh, Chocolate Brown and like a Sandstone Brown. So basically what we're doing is we're building up a uh, texture that's an undercoat. This is just a straight sandstone brown, also from Instar. In the tutorial of this month, they talked about this brush. So I, so I took an old brush and I cut the bristles flat like it recommended. And I'm using this basically to stipple on the different paints. And it's giving it a very organic, rough texture. Um, kind of like what you see for rust. So all this is to build an undercoat with the three browns. This is the, so we have the chocolate brown, the matte brown, and the sandstone, the matte is the IV-16. So once I have the base coat all done and uh, kind of an uneven texture all the way across it, I'm going to take the heavy chipping effects. This is a MIG. 2011 so now you paint on the heavy chipping effect this is going to dry a very high gloss finish so I let this cure for a couple hours before I did the base coat for the main paint and for that I used the Vallejo's brown violet So jump ahead some time and once that that uh, base coat drives over the chipping effect, what I'm using here is a, it's a piece of balsa wood I made almost like a toothpick. The other thing you could use is your flat brush. Just make sure you wet the surface and start kind of uh, stippling at it, poking at it and brushing almost in circles and it gets you this nice chipped effect here. All in all, the the chipping, heavy chipping effects fluid is nice in the way that it makes it uh, quick and easy. The drawback is is you can't really control where the chips are gonna are gonna form. If you wanted more control, you'd have to go in and and do them all each by hand. But uh, for something quick and easy, this one turns out pretty cool. So I decided to add a white stripe on the back of uh, this back panel here. And what I'm doing is taking that flat brush, I'm using the brown violet and kind of going over the stripe. I went ahead and added a couple decals that I had from other kits laying around. So once I get the decal in place where I want it, I'll put a little bit of the mark fit from Timera on there. I 
So I'm going to go through with Code Darm's Magic Metal, and I'm going to do the base coat on like these uh, shells and the parts of metal that are showing on the inside of his thighs and like his armpit area and stuff and get the base coat going that way. Once that's dry, I'm going to go through with a Vallejo's uh, brass color and paint the shell casings brass. Basically, I'm going to go through and start hitting some of these other details and try and get this finished up fairly quickly. Um, tune back in. As always, subscribe. It helps. I appreciate you. Thank you.